Well, tonight, turning heartbreak into purpose. It's been more than a year since a couple was killed in a Henderson home. And for the first time, we are hearing from their family. They're speaking out about how they're coping with their loss. And 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade shows you how they're reaching out to others to help in their healing. Robin McComb's brother Shane tells us that it has been a really difficult year for his family. They've been struggling with their grief, a slow moving justice system, and he has some very serious health problems. But he didn't want to dwell on that. Instead, he wanted to do something positive in the community and to honor the memories of two people taken too soon. My brother and sister were taken us on from October. This day forward, from days coming, years past, all that, we're always going to remember for the, the heartache. Shane McComb is hosting this community fundraiser in honor of his brother Robin and Robin's longtime girlfriend, Melissa Mason. Melissa was so close to the family. Shane's mother loved and treated her as if she were her own daughter. She wears their pictures on a chain around her neck, along with a note she wrote about how much she misses them. I just wish it hadn't happened. I don't know why he had to, why did he have to try to, why did he, why did he do that to my kids? I mean, they were, they were good, nice kids. They didn't do anything to him. They were found dead in their Henderson home last October. Police were just in the beginning stages of investigating before this man, 36 year old Roger Tyndall, was captured in Southern California. He was wounded in a shootout after a high speed chase that police say he live streamed on Facebook. The FBI had been trying to track him down as a suspect in Rob and Melissa's murder. As he awaits trial in California, the McCombs decided rather than agonizing over when they will get their day in court here in Nevada, they would rather use that energy to help others. If I'm not getting closure, there's others out there who's grieving and who's hurting. So I want to bring the community back together so we can um, find the support that we need. The Halloween themed fundraiser with activities for children, music and art hopes to help raise awareness about mental illness. I want kids to learn that life is beautiful, every day is beautiful, take another chance and keep going and never stop. Instead of focusing on the heartache, I'm taking that hate and I'm flipping it to love and passion. I'm giving back instead of focusing on it. Carla Wade, 13 Action News.